Hey, morning. A quick video on the Good Genes uh, Glycolic Acid Treatment um, by Sunday Riley. Um, I have just started using this and my skin's it feels like it is a little bit burny, but I don't know if it's this or the um, Drunk Elephant Retinol Cream. So um, I'm going to stick with it and just see how it goes, but I am starting to feel a little bit tingly. So um, I'm going to stop using the Drunk Elephant Retinol Cream and start um, carry on using this just to see if it is this that's um, making my skin a little bit sensitive. Um, it's a, um, it says on the instructions to apply to clean skin as an exfoliating serum morning and night. So I am pre presuming it's not this that's burning my skin because I don't think you would put it on morning and night if it was that um, intense. So um, it penetrates the surface of the skin with tiny glycolic acid molecules sinking deeper into skin rather than other forms of AHA. AHA. Um, to break apart pore clogging debris and repair the look of sun damaged, congested, wrinkled or dull skin. Um, with just one use, instant radiance and skin clarity are visibly boosted. Balanced with fermented prickly pear extract. Mm. Perfect for sensitive skin to soothe and calm the complexion along with skin purifying lemongrass extract. So I don't think it is this, it's probably the um, drunk elephant that's making my skin a little bit sensitive. Um, so just to show you how it comes out, it is like a cream. So, um, I'll just dab a bit all over, but I'm going to use the techniques that came with the, what, what was it, what did it come with? The 300 pound 50 ml pot of, uh, oh, what was it called now? Mm, it was... Shantikai, Shantikali, um, yeah, three hundred pound for a fifty ml pot, really expensive. But the techniques it um showed you to do in terms of massaging, moisturising cream was, on the forehead, three strokes like that on just above the brow bone, with those two fingers, three strokes there, under the eye here with those two fingers because it's a sensitive area, so you don't apply as much pressure, right up to the temples. And then three across there, and then across the chin up, and then down to the neck. Oh, like that. And then just any excess onto the nose. Um, I'll just put a little bit more on because I'm not enough for my neck. So on the neck, it's just three strokes down like that. And that's one three. I can't count. Um, but my my skin is like, even on my neck, it's gone really dry, so you probably can't see. Um, so I think the retinol cream is having an effect on my skin. Um, and it does say to gradually increase the usage of it. Otherwise it can burn, which is what some of the reviews say. <clears throat> so I'm going to give that a break for a bit and just carry on using this because it, it does sound like this is calming. So hopefully this will help my skin. Um <clears throat> it does say use as an exfoliating serum um, and my understanding of serum is that you use it with moisturiser so um, I'll probably need to check up on that but I will probably use um, my tinted moisture on top of that which is the Estee Lauder Daywear um, which I absolutely love because it just goes on as moisturiser and then darkens and um, gives you just a little bit of a tint so um, I'll put that on top as well. Um, so yeah, so I will keep you posted on the um, good jeans. Just put it away, sorry. The good jeans um, hydro glycolic acid treatment by Sunday Riley. Uh, sorry if it's I'm just not zooming in or focusing properly. Uh, so yeah, I'll keep you up to date with that, and hopefully my skin will calm itself down and stop being so dry and sensitive. See you next time.